King Erner coming to y'all live and direct. The night topic I'm speaking on, um, Guy Fisher. I got to speak on Guy Fisher. The reason why, very honorable man, from my understanding of everybody I was in the feds with, um, that was from New York, all the OGs, they talked very well about him. Um, you know, he was the first black man to own Apollo Theater. You know what I'm saying? That, that's big. That's history. Not only is it history, um, I think it was 1978, Nikki Barnes, a person that's from Harlem, he claimed he had a relationship with um, Guy Fisher, and he actually took and put some lies and some things on him, saying that he was a part of murder, and he was a part of a lot of other negative things. Brought the man in, got him life imprisonment. But the reason why he went to prison, even the government told that story. The reason why he went to prison is because Nikki Barnes was upset at him because of a woman that Guy Fisher must have started having sex with when he was in prison. Now, young men, I want you to understand that having a bad woman or having a beautiful woman when you're in the streets and you're selling drugs is like every man's trophy instead of having a good woman. You know what I'm saying? So they affront the good woman behind closed doors for positive things, but they'll flaunt these good for nothing Jezebels, you know, out in the public and as something on their shoulder when all they're gonna do is leave them when they go to prison. And I want for all the youngers to understand that. Number one, if you're in the streets right now, if you're doing things that you know are illegal and you have several women in your life, the woman that's not going after your money, the woman that's uh, telling you to do the right thing and telling you don't work, she don't need your money, and that really wants to accept your your money, that's the woman for you. The one that's taking it and doesn't care, and you find her to deal with a lot of different individuals. Guess what? When you go to jail, <laughs> bottom line, you know what's going to happen, right? When you go to prison, she's going to sleep around with your friends. She's going to sleep around who with whoever got the bag. And I don't go for all of them, but a lot of them do, majority of them do, especially when they know you have a wife at home. So when you look into this situation, you kind of think to yourself, damn, you mean to tell me these dudes was the best of friends and Nikki Barnes got mad all because he had sex with a female that was a mistress of his? As if that's dishonorable? Let me give y'all the rule, number one. If she's not your wife... She doesn't belong to you. So she gets to do what she want to do. So that means if she wants to do your friend, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your father, that's what she would do because she doesn't belong to you. But more than anything, you do all this tough crime stuff. You're the biggest gangster and you want to do this. Your family calling you for all the gangster stuff, right? But as soon as you get arrested, you tell telling your friend you get a little upset. Get your panties caught up in a bunch and... um. <laughs> You want to tell on your friends, huh? You want to make up lies on individuals. Well, I'm letting you know that the government isn't that stupid anymore. The government is starting to look into the lies. I know several, several guys that I was in the feds with that got sent up top. They sentences wasn't pretty. The reason why they sentences wasn't pretty because sometimes the feds fooled them. So I want all you rats to understand this. You're liable to get caught up. You're liable to still get the bad end of the stick. Listen, they're not doing it like they ain't get letting dudes in the music game like they used to. They ain't letting people in the rap game like they used to, neither. You're going to do bit for bit and day for day in a hole. Every jail you get to, the government is going to make sure your paperwork is out there. Don't think they're the ones that's, you know, they're not hiding your paperwork. I bet you, you want to understand this, that they're not hiding your paperwork. They're putting it out there. You go on the computer and type up a couple of these guys' names, you're going to find out who they really are. This is the thing here. Everybody must begin to stand on something today. If we don't stand on something, guess what? Our generation that's coming after us, they're the ones that we're going to have to live around. We have to come out to this. And guess what? It's already a warfare out there. It's already a battlefield. Why would you all continue to... Allow recycled crime to be in the neighborhood. 
Some of the town watch people, won't you just tell the police officers, listen, a person that's out here that's on these streets, they shouldn't be excused because all they're going to do is come out here and do the same thing. Now, Nikki Barnes is home and no one in the world would ever find him. You know why? He's in the witness protection program. But more than anything, I advise and I repeat, I advise for no one to harm or do anything to a rat. Do not physically touch them. Do not go looking for them. Do not sort them out. You know why? They can be your worst nightmare. They can be the worst plague you ever had. When John Gotti won and all that other stuff that got to do with murdering rats and all that went out the window, they will give you a billion years for it. And guess what? You'll find out the person that's murdering the rats is turning rat also. So it's just one disease infested, disgusting situation that I advise every man of honor, every black man, every white man, every orange man, every green man to come out of the crime area and start leading towards more helping the children. You know why? They're only going to listen to us, the ones that got the charges and been in jail forever. They're only going to listen to us, the ones that been through it that didn't tell. They only going to listen to us. They got to believe in us. They can't keep believing in these rats. They can't keep believing in these individuals, man, who are going to jail and going to the police district and telling everything that's going on that they started. Yeah, that they started. Not that no one else started. And the government gives them a pass. It's recycled crime. It's in your community. This is what's going on. It's called recycled crime. Don't worry about the dude that's doing 10 or 20 years that's coming home, because guess what? He's liable to change his life after what he's seen and what he hears that comes through that gate and that penitentiary. He's liable to come home and want to speak to the youth. You know why? The reason why he'd rather speak to the youth is because at the end of the day, it's blessings that he's going to get back. God is going to bless him. You know why? For a person to do something wrong all their life and then started doing something positive, you receive a big reward. And that reward lays within your community, but it doesn't have to come in money. And it's most likely, well, I'm for sure it won't come in money. And it will not, I repeat, come in from individuals telling you thank you. So you got to have that self understanding that self of I have to do it myself to help these youngins because they're the ones that are having a problem with it now a lot of dudes they can taunt their muscles around anybody can do all of that the strong minded person is up here it's the one that can outthink all of that it's the one that don't have to use all of that it's the one that don't think about all of that. It's the one that talks with their mouth but move in action. You hear me? When I say talk with their mouth, they have to speak on it for somebody to even know the issue at hand. But after that, they moving on it. And I ain't talking about the moving that we used to move when we was kids in the streets, running around, shoot them up, bang, bang. I'm talking about moving for real. I'm talking about giving the, the drug dealers an understanding that this is not what they doing. This is not correct. Give them an example. Let's lead them. Let's give them an example that at the end of the day, guess what? They can stop selling drugs and become something successful. And it don't have to be in a Don Diva magazine. And it don't have to be on a Vlad television. And it don't have to be King Ernest speaking on it. It could be something positive. You see? Because all them platforms I, I, I gave, they gave you the negative form of it, which a lot of the youngest needed to hear that also. Now, I, I come to explain it. I come to explain why Guy Fisher was in that cell. I come to explain why Nicky Barnes been had a vendetta and Nicky Barnes been had in his brain that he was going to tell. Anybody that moves like that already had it decided that they were going to do it. Hmm? Just like it was rats then, guess what? It is rats now, except it's more. But they were hiding then. See, the government was able to put them in different organizations and get away with different things. It's up to you to guess what? Choose your life tonight. Don't choose it tomorrow. Don't wait for your other homie to change. Change now, guess what? You ain't gonna have to worry about shooting, 
getting shot at. You probably still see people get killed around you. That's just how our community is right now. But you can change that because it's your generation that's doing it. It's your era. So when I see the young and strong speaking, like the young and disciple, oh my gosh, he's an animal. Him and the brother Ben X, oh my gosh, they are animals because guess what? They are for our youth. They are young individuals. They are the ones that the children should be grasping to. And parents, turn that camera around. Turn that TV around. Let that young and understand. Nicky Barnes told on his best friend, Nicky Barnes was a millionaire. Mob accepted him in everything. But guess what he done? Told on his best friend, you know why? Over a female. Yeah, over a female, man. So I pray that Guy Fisher makes it back out here. I was thinking that under the Obama joint that he would have slid. I heard a lot of rumors that he came home. But when I look everything up, I don't see no proof of him being home, man. And I would think that he would have made it. But I think with racketeering, murder is in that charge somewhere. So violent crime, they don't want to be letting people go. But I would think because he's older, they would have let him slide. But at the end of the day, he's no harm to our community. He never was. Not on Apollo. Nikki Barnes was obviously the harm to our computer, our um, community, and what they done was they used him as a pawn, and he brought everybody else in, and this is where the queen won, because the female had sex with Guy Fisher, and she got to laugh at both of them now. The streets is terrible, and guys like Guy Fisher were right in jail when he had a successful life and was a very honorable man, and you took another, another person like Nikki Barnes to dishonor and take that man away from his family. Even if he wasn't negativity, you can look at Guy Fisher and tell him he wasn't no murderer, you see? I mean, you can't look at people and say who was and who, but the man had a lot of honor to him that was positive, and Nicky Barnes was jealous of that, and Nicky Barnes was jealous of Guy Fisher. Find, you'll find out, youngins, the streets, jealousy is like the number one thing that gets a person killed. Get a job. After that job, EIN number. Remember me. I hope that can go down in history with me, with y'all understanding that. Get a job. After you stack that bread after a long period of time, you get you an EIN number. After that, you build your business that turns into a corporation. And guess what you begin to do? Start helping our community because we're going to need it. And guess what we're going to need? Examples. And guess what? Every day they're giving us examples for us to give to the youngest and say, hey, this is why you shouldn't do that. King Erna, honor your life campaign. Join the movement.